I was up during the entire process, taking the baby out, putting the organs back where they gotta go, pitching me back up. Hi everybody, my name is Nani, and welcome to Vlogmas with Nani. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and all his reindeers blowing on the range. Gang, it's your girl Nani. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. And as always, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in, and of course, on your way out. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. I just want to say thank you so much to Pretty Tata. She is the person that made the intro that you guys just see. Also, she made the outro that you guys will see. She is freaking dope. My intro came out super, super cute. I love everything about y'all. Y'all need to definitely go support her on Instagram. And she's also a YouTuber. So make sure you guys go subscribe to her YouTube channel. All her information will be in the description box below. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. If you are new, I will be doing a cash giveaway once I reach 2K subscribers to 2 supporters. We are at 1,600 right now. We have 400 more subscribers that we need in order to reach 2K. My goal is to reach 2K before... 2021. I believe I can get there if I grind hard enough. In today's video, as y'all can tell by that title, I'm going to be on mommy mode. This video has been requested from a lot of different supporters. I never actually did a video like this simply because I really wanted you guys to support me genuinely because of me. I know there's a lot of YouTubers with families and stuff like that. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to grow and I wanted you guys to come support me because of me, not because, oh, she has a daughter and things of that, like that nature. That's why I really never talked about this story, but I told you guys in Vlogmas, I will be open more. I will be having my daughter more on my channel just to let you guys in on my life a little bit more. As you guys can see, I did upload two videos with her, her pre-birthday and her birthday birthday. Vlog. It was just really amazing and I was really happy that I did put her on my channel because y'all she loves the camera. I reached my brother camera on her face. She just she loves the cheese. She loves to kiss the camera. She just loves the camera. So I'm super happy that she is comfortable in front of the camera. Today we are going to be talking about my labor and delivery. This is going to be a story time. Before we get into it, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Like I said, we're on the road to 2K subscribers. I am 22 years old. I have a daughter. She is two now. So this story happened two years ago. I was due on November 2nd of 2018. I had her on October 31st of 2018. I was born at 9 o'clock in the morning. I went into active labor, should I say, at about 5 o'clock p.m., somewhere between 5 and 6. It was in that time span because I was at work. I worked at a nursing home and I was an RA. Um, basically, I was somebody who worked in, it's like little homes inside the, um, inside the nursing home. And I worked in one of the homes as an RA, which was I like served the meals, um, just little things of that, like, of that nature. So I really didn't do too much. Before I actually went into labor, I kind of did a lot. I walked almost every single day. I walked up and down my stairs in my apartment every single day. I walked to and from work probably like the last week I was pregnant. I really just wanted her to come on time or before. I really was hoping she came on Halloween. I wouldn't have been mad if she didn't, but I'm glad she did because Halloween is one of my favorite um, holidays and I'm really, really, really happy she did. I watched a lot of vlogs on YouTube about birth. This was my first birth. Like I, like I was very anxious, nervous, excited, like all of that. I've watched a lot of videos. They said like stay active, do exercises just to help your body prepare for it. If you guys didn't know, when you give birth sometimes, if you give birth naturally, the baby can cause tearage in your vagina to your anal area. So that was really scared of happening. That's why I made sure like I was walking. I was like helping my body get prepared, if that makes sense. Beginning of that week of October 31st, I made sure I prepared my, my bag and my daughter's bag. And I made sure they were ready and by the door along with her car seat because I was not sure when I was going into labor, but I wanted to make sure I went into labor on time. October 31st, I got ready for work. I think I did like, a, I walked up and down the stairs like four or five times before I went to work. Then I walked to work. And then when I got to work, I was at work for like about an hour, I wanna say, cause I was supposed to clock in at 4.30, I did. And then in the midst of me working, my stomach got this really, really tight feeling. Like if you guys ever had gotten box braids, you guys know the feeling that first twist when they put the box braid in, that's how it felt in my stomach. And I wasn't sure what it was. I thought maybe it was just like, um, they call it, um, 
I can't think of it right now, but it's like, it's not a contraction. It's just, you think it's a contraction, right? Oh, Braxton Hicks. I thought it was Braxton Hicks. So I just kept working. So then they just kept coming like every so often. So I talked to one of the older ladies at my job because I was really, I was 20. So I talked to one of the other ladies at my job and I asked her, I was like, hey, like I'm feeling really tight on my stomach and like it hurts. And she was like, oh honey, I think you're in active labor. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm excited, scared, anxious, like all that all in one. So anyway, I call my boyfriend, I let him know, I said, hey, I'm in labor, we need to go to the hospital. But he it does whatever he's doing at home and comes to me. Luckily, I don't live that far from where I worked. Like it's literally right down the block. Um, so then we call my supervisor, my floor supervisor, and we let her know I'm in labor. And she gets there, I tell her like, you know, I have a ride coming. Y'all, I could not leave with my boyfriend. Like, they would not allow me to leave the um, job, the nursing home, and go with my boyfriend and go to the hospital. I had to wait for an ambulance. So, the ambulance um, is on its way, y'all, but the most uncomfortable thing happened. So, as um, they're talking to the people on the dispatcher service, whatever, they're like, oh, she needs to lay down, which I was. And then they was like, you need to take off her pants and check to see how far she's dilated. What did he say? <laughs> Like, no, like, no, I do not want anybody near me on, down there. No, absolutely not. I will wait. Like, let them know I'll wait. Like, I'm not doing that. So, eventually, my boyfriend comes. He comes down, and they're like, um, she has to go in the ambulance, so just follow behind the ambulance. So, they came. They took me out of my job. Yeah, it was so, it wasn't weird, but it was just like everybody was staring at me. So, I kind of felt uncomfortable, but at the same time, I was just happy that my daughter was coming. So we end up leaving. We get to the hospital. Me and my boyfriend there, and I call my mom. They put me in the room, set me up, all that good stuff. So now it's me and my boyfriend in the room and my mom. I forgot a part, y'all. Yeah. Another really weird thing that happens. When I was um, going into the room to be set up and everything, you know, they undressed me and stuff. The the ambulance, and the ambulance was two guys, I believe. I don't think it was a girl, the guy think it was two guys. So after they're undressing me, he's just standing there. So my boyfriend said something, like he asked me, what is you looking at? He was just like being weird, like weirdly staring at me getting undressed like i don't know what was going on but okay and my mom comes and we're just like you know hanging out talking and the contractions are like go like they're going and i really wanted to go into this natural like no medicine or anything like i don't know why i thought i could do it but i thought i was superwoman the contractions are really getting there y'all i think um my boyfriend has a few videos of me yeah these are very embarrassing videos but i'm gonna put them in there for y'all <laughs> The contractions hurt so bad, y'all. Like, I don't know, like, I, like, there's no way to describe that pain, honestly. Like, I can't say, oh, it feels like this because they hurt, like, really bad. Eventually, like, after, like, I want to say, because it was 5 o'clock, about 5 o'clock when I got there. No, I'm lying. It was, like, yeah, it was around, like, 5.45 when I got there. And I was just laying there, taking the contractions, taking the contractions. About seven o'clock, my water officially broke. It really felt like when my water broke, that like I was just peeing. Like I was talking about, like, mom, I'm peeing on myself. Like, I, I just can't stop. Like, it's weird. But as a child, when you know you're, you're peeing, you can stop yourself. But like, I felt like I was just peeing on myself and there's no way to stop. So she's like, no, you're not peeing. I think your water's breaking. So she calls the nurse in there. My water did break. So now we are like, get into it. I think I was like, six centimeters dilated at this point. So I'm like, okay, cool, like we're getting there. So eventually my mom left. I was a little mad at her that she left, but I mean, it is what it is. Then my best friend ends up coming. So I was super happy about that. She ends up coming. So I got my best friend, my boyfriend, me, and I'm just like super happy now, super calm, collective, all that stuff. So we're in there making jokes, you know, having fun, talking, all that stuff. And mind you guys, when you're in labor, you cannot eat, y'all. I was starving. My best friend, she snuck me some food. Chris kept telling me, well, my boyfriend, he kept telling me, you can't eat, like, you're not allowed to eat, but my best friend kept sneaking me some food. And the nurse was sneaking me some food. I ate some ice, y'all. But I could not eat any real food. I think I was eating like lollipops and candy and 
I think I ate a little bit of chips. For like 7.30ish, 8 o'clock is when the, I just couldn't take the contractions anymore. Um, I asked them like what medicine they can give me. They gave me like a liquid medicine that went into my IV, but that just wasn't enough, y'all. Like the contractions were killing me. And I think I was like so scared of the epidural because I'm terrified of needles. Like to this day, if I see a needle, I will cry. Um, I just can't take needles. I talked to um, my boyfriend and my best friend. I'm like, yeah, like I think I really want this epidural. And they're telling me like, you know, nine day, like, are you sure? Da -da -da. So I'm like, yes. So I, we tell the lady I want the epidural. She comes in. They have to leave the room while she gives it to me. I didn't know that. So she, my nurse was like the best nurse. She was honestly God sent. And I was explaining to her, I was like, Yo, I'm really afraid of needles. So what she did was with the person who gave it to me. So I had to lean over the bed like this. Imagine the bed is like, I'm sitting at the edge of the bed. So I had to lean over like this. Yeah, the nurse held me. I was so grateful for that. Like she really held on to me and she was like, everything's gonna be okay. Like y'all, I was so scared. I was crying and everything. But after they gave me that epidural, y'all, I felt like I was walking on water. I felt like I could do anything in the world, y'all. It felt so good to not feel those contractions. Oh, oh my God. After that happened, they came back in the room. We talked about it. We cracked some more jokes that uh, the night goes on. So now it's eight o'clock. Okay, um, I was up because I really didn't sleep comfortably, but um, my boyfriend and my best friend, they were there. Actually switched between the chair, like they like switched. Like they were, there was only like one chair, I think. So my best friend ended up sleeping on the floor, y'all. Y'all, she is God sent, honestly. Like I love her now. The next day comes, I wake up, it's like seven o'clock in the morning, y'all. I'm only four centimeters dilated at this point. Last time I said I was six meters dilated the night before, now I'm only four. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just not getting dilated. So he's like, okay, we're gonna give you some medicine, try to dilate you some more. If you're not dilated in an hour, have to, we're gonna have to check and see what's going on. Come back in an hour, and now they're checking the baby's heartbeat. And they're like, um, every time I'm contracting, her heartbeat is getting lower, or it's like going lower, something like that. So I was confused, I'm like, what's going on? Because we were gonna wait a little longer. So he's like, oh no, we need to have an emergency C-section now. And it was nine, like around nine o'clock. So there, so that's what he told me that. So now they're going to prep the C-section wherever. So the nurse was telling me, she was like, well, your the umbilical cord is wrapped around her. So every time I'm contracting, it's the umbilical cord is squeezing on her, which is lowering her heartbeat. Like we need to have an emergency C-section, which is very, not ironic, but it's very ironic because when I was born, the umbilical cord was wrapped around me as well. I don't know like why, but I mean, hey. So I was kind of sad when they said that. Um, I cried a little, like not cried, but you know, I shed a tear because I really did want to go into birth naturally. Um, but I couldn't. Um, I rather like I have a live child than try to have a child naturally and she died. So I was very grateful. We got prepped and ready to go into the C-section room, y'all. And in that room, it is like, I felt like I was in like a Grey's Anatomy episode, y'all. Like it looks like, it don't look exactly like it. It just feel like it. I don't know why. But yeah, they covered like this part of me from here down. So I couldn't see whatever they were doing down there. And then my boyfriend was on the side of me and he was kind of watching, but he got a weak stomach. So he wasn't kind of watching. Um, so they were supposed to put me to sleep and they gave me the medicine to put me to sleep. But I just didn't go to sleep. Like, um... I really didn't want to go to sleep because I wanted to hear my daughter's first, like, you know, those first cries when they come out. I really wanted to hear that. So I was like fighting the medicine. So when, as they're cutting me, like, cause they cut a uh, insertion line, I think that's the word, right in your like pelvic area. So I felt them cut and then I feel them moving around. So I'm like telling her, like, oh my God, I feel like I feel them touching the in like my insides. So the doctor tells him, he's like, oh, she can still feel it. You need to give her more medicine to put her to sleep. So they gave me more medicine, y'all, but I still did not go to sleep. I was up during the entire process of them taking baby out, putting the organs back where they gotta go, uh, stitching me back up. Like I was up for that entire process. Still up, I hear the baby cry. Sorry, I'm like, I need to stay in bed. Boyfriend like, wants to go take pictures. He's like showing me the pictures and stuff like that. They're getting me ready to go back into another room for after, um, after delivery. They take me back in my room and now we're just laying there. Or well, I'm just laying there at least. And, and then they bring the baby in. And y'all, when I first seen her, I was just like very shocked because I couldn't believe that I had a human being come out of me. Like, when you get pregnant, like, you know, okay, I have a human being inside of me, like, the stuff like that, and then when you really have them, it's like, 
oh my god like i really birthed a human like a living person and um as a first time mom i was very like excited i was nervous i was anxious i was ecstatic i was all of all the emotions in the book that you can think of that's how like i felt um she was like the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and i know people be like i know some people have their opinions about babies when they're first born and things are such short such short but y'all she was just beautiful like her skin was i can't like explain it it was so soft she smelled so good like she smelled like baby like i don't i don't know eventually my family got to come in his family got to come and everybody got to see him they like talked to me and stuff like that i at this point i was super tired but i did not want to go to sleep because i just didn't want to miss a moment with her so i stayed up until they brought us into the other room and then we got comfortable and all that stuff she didn't cry like at all really when we were in the hospital she was very calm um the only thing the only issue we had with her was she didn't want to eat when we explained that to the doc or when the doctors explained that to us they let us know like you know in order for us to let you leave with her she has to be able to finish at least a whole bottle um or you guys are like she's gonna stay in the hospital a little longer but you guys can go if you have a natural birth you're allowed to stay one day and then you can go home but since i did have a um c-section they told me i had to stay i had to stay a minimum of two days but i could stay a third day if i wanted to and then i could go home two days that we were there we focused really on her eating because we really wanted to take her home when we could you know we didn't want to stay there with her without like we didn't want to go home without her basically so that's what we really worked on as soon as we got comfortable y'all me and her dad both end up falling asleep with her and it was just amazing like the feeling of actually becoming a family together was just all just like all around it felt good you know um being with someone this was his like he's a first time dad and a first time mom so this is both our first kids like we're both experiencing a child together for the first time for the first time if that makes sense I could tell how much he was in love with her, y'all. He would hold her. He would talk to her. Um, he even, like, like he wanted to sleep near her. Like, it was just great. My family came up and visited. His family came up and visited. Yeah, the food wasn't that great, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's hospital food. The nurses were amazing. The, we had some student nurses as well. That was amazing. As far as after that and then, like, after, like, how I felt, I was walking probably, like, I think I had her at 9.38 and by i want to say 12 o'clock because i think no no i want to say 11 o'clock i was up walking doing what i had to do with her and stuff like that like it just felt i didn't fit like i didn't hurt um it was sore but that's because like i just obviously got cut open but that's about it i was still able to do everything i was supposed to do i was not able to shower for 24 hours and i had to have a catheter in for 24 hours the thing that i really didn't like was a catheter because i wanted to be able to you know go to the bathroom on my own but i wasn't like allowed to yet first shower that i got in oh my god it felt like heaven like i just I, it felt amazing y'all i want to show you guys so i want to show you guys my belly i'll show you guys a picture of my belly when i was pregnant i'll show you guys what my belly looks like now this is my belly now as you guys can see i do have um stretch marks like like right here and then i do have some right here other than that i'm really like okay with like how i look after having a baby, I call the, the I call my stretch marks that I have tiger stripes because they really honestly do look like my tiger stripes. Um, and a lot of people told me when I was pregnant, well, yeah, when I was pregnant, they were like, well, after you give birth, your body will never look the same. After you give birth, you're gonna have to work out to get your stomach out. I just was like, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of me. Like, I want to not even say a month after I gave birth. I'm going to put a picture in, y'all. And my body literally looks the same. I probably gained, I because I know I've been gaining weight and losing weight, but that's just because my metabolism is a really fast metabolism. So I drink Ensure Plus to gain weight, but, y'all, my body looked no different. Super grateful for that because, y'all, I didn't really get that big during my pregnancy, but I wasn't really that small. Like, you could tell I was pregnant, but I was not huge, if that makes sense. I was in labor for approximately 17 hours. I couldn't believe it like I really just couldn't believe it but I was and I loved every single minute of it the contractions the everything like literally everything I loved it I loved everything besides the epidural y'all other than that y'all labor went okay delivery went amazing no complications 
I was just all around happy with my nurses, my doctor. My support system was just bomb.com. That was my labor and delivery story time. If you guys liked like, you know, knowing mommy stuff about me or really like engaging in this type of mommy stuff, let me know and I will give you guys more of a story time or things that I've been through as a mother, as I experienced as a first time mother, should I say, or things you just might want to know, tips on being, being a first time mom or things of that sort. I really did enjoy sharing the story with you guys because I never actually tell this story, to be honest, like nobody ever asked like, oh, how was labor or what's your delivery story? Like nobody literally ever asked that. Glad that one of my supporters requested it because I love sharing this story with you guys. And it was really amazing. Like honestly, like all around, I'm excited to share the videos with you guys, the pictures, the things that I went through. Like it just is all around amazing, y'all. This is day three of Blockmas. And clear up any confusion, I will be doing Vlogmas throughout the 25 days, but I will not be doing all 25 days consistently. This is my first time doing Vlogmas, so I still am getting the hang of being consistent and posting every single day and getting on a schedule to where I can record and um, edit all on the same day. I really, really do want it to be involved in Vlogmas, which is why I'm going to be doing it, just not consistently every all 25 days, but I will be getting content to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, y'all. Don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up y'all also don't forget to subscribe if you want to be part of the cash giveaway once you reach 2k subscribers comment some things you guys want me to do like some video ideas you guys want to see from me as a mother and i will definitely do them i'm like i said i'm super grateful to whoever requested this video i don't remember who it was but i'm super grateful that you did request this video because i really had a good time sharing it with y'all that is it and that is all for today's video y'all and Welcome to Vlogmas with Nani. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Vixen and Vixen and all his reindeers pulling on the reins.